Hey everyone, welcome back to my channel. My name is Shanti and today I have another Instant Pot video coming at you. I showed you guys in a previous video how to cook chickpeas in the Instant Pot and you all seem to really enjoy that one. So today I have three more foods that you can cook super easily in the Instant Pot. These three things cook down super quickly and they're super efficient and especially in the summer, these are great to use in the Instant Pot because you don't want to heat up your whole house by cooking on the stove. So the Instant Pot is super energy efficient and won't heat up your entire kitchen. Let's get straight into the video. The first recipe I'm going to show you to make is one minute quinoa. Yes, you can make quinoa in the Instant Pot in one minute. Basically the time that it takes the Instant Pot to heat up to the pressure temperature, it is already cooked. So this is one of my favorite things to make in the Instant Pot. I'm using Trader Joe's Organic Tri-Color Quinoa, and it's really important to rinse all of your grains and beans beforehand before you cook them. So here's my one cup of quinoa. Um, my handle's a little broken, but we still use it. Here I am putting in one cup of rinsed quinoa into the Instant Pot along with one and a half cups of water. And then you just twist the lid on, make sure you seal the valve and set it to one minute. Then when the timer goes off, you release the valve to let the pressure out and you have perfectly cooked quinoa. Now you can eat this straight as a side dish or you can mix in some veggies with it or you can even mix it into a salad. That's my favorite thing to do. The next Instant Pot food hack I'm gonna show you is how to cook steel cut oats. This one is super convenient if you have to take your breakfast on the go in the mornings. You can make this ahead of time and put it in your fridge in little Tupperwares and then you can top it off with all different types of fruits and cinnamon and maybe some maple syrup. So this one is a super convenient one. I'll show you guys how to make it. For the steel cut oats, you want to have one cup of rinsed steel cut oats along with three cups of water. Now I'm just splashing in some vanilla extract, some pumpkin pie spice, but you could just use cinnamon. And to give it a little bit of extra sweetness, I'm just adding one tablespoon of coconut sugar. Then you seal the lid on and set it to three minutes. And then when it goes off, you have delicious, perfectly cooked steel cut oats. Then you can put them in little Tupperwares and top them off with your favorite fruits and nuts. You can Keep it in the fridge for a breakfast on the go. Super easy and convenient. The last Instapot hack, I almost said Instagram. <laughs> the last Instapot hack I'm gonna show you is how to cook, oh, not this, how to cook lentils. These are green small lentils. It says in the handy Instant Pot booklet, it says to cook them for 15 to 20 minutes. So I usually do 17 because it's right in the middle. And also in the Instant Pot book, it says to put enough water in there to cover it. And if there's water left over, then you can just strain it out before you scoop them into your Tupperware or wherever you're serving them. So let's get right into how to cook lentils in the Instant Pot. I'm starting off with one cup of lentils. And the directions in the book, as I said, say to cover them just enough so that they're covered with water. When I made them this time around, I did one cup of lentils to two and a half cups of water, and that ratio worked out pretty well. Seal it up, make sure the valve is closed, and the directions also say to cook it for 15 to 20 minutes, but I think closer to the 15 side is best so that they don't get too mushy. And there they are. There is a little bit of excess water, but you can just drain that out before you serve them. That is all I have for you today. Thank you so much for watching this video. I hope you enjoyed this Instant Pot food hack video. Let me know in the comments below if you want to see more Instant Pot videos. Make sure you give this video a big thumbs up so I know you liked it and make sure you hit that subscribe button down below. Oh my god, my cat. To see more videos of me. Thanks so much for watching. I'll see you next time. Bye.